Hello you, welcome to Geekers, and we're back in the movies. And uh, we're doing pretty well. Our comedy movie last time, this is a muck up, did uh, did pretty good for us. Uh, we're going to go for a, uh, a standard one this time, though. We're just going to go for a sci-fi movie, get it made. Um, is sci-fi doing pretty well at the minute? Let's have a look. Sci-fi, eh, action and uh, romance seem to be the most uh, popular ones, but... It'll do. Um, we're going to get them to write their own because I want to get a few bits done in this episode regarding the actual sort of plot, uh, you know, the, the area we're in. First of all, we've got a bombed war a street here, which is absolutely massive. Um, we haven't really set up a space for war. Oh, that's war battlefield there. So it, this kind of needs to go kind of up here, really, somewhere. Like, oh, that's the back. There we go. Kind of needs to go here. Or maybe it can go like here. These, these, sorry, I'm realising I'm off mic. Uh, these sets we've got down the bottom here, these are meant to be like suburban ones. So I don't imagine there's going to be a big one to go with suburban. So what we could do is just place this down here. Um, yeah, let's do that. And we, although this is sci-fi bit, uh, oops, didn't mean to do that at all. How did we get out of the map? There we go. Um, this is west. This is like I said. This is what's this? A rusty basement, a bathroom, and a apartment i guess yeah look at that looks like friends uh that's cool isn't it so remember available spaces can spend some time and gain experience i'm sure they can yeah so this is going to be our next one's going to be sci-fi um so i can always remember who's sci-fi your sci-fi your sci-fi and then one of you are going to be sci-fi as well i think you're comedy aren't you let's have a look comedy yeah so you're our sci-fi guy so you need to go and get some sci-fi training in let's drop you in there and let's get you in there with um let's talk about your pay cut why is that why is that sci-fi director it's you there isn't it i don't remember giving people pay cuts i guess i must have done you can't you can't do that Sorry, never mind. Oh, you're, I guess you can go and practice in this one. There we go. Uh, you're going to be our sci-fi in our next movie anyway, so you better get to work. All right, let's link this up while it gets built. It's a big one, this one. It's a big one. Uh, there's right down the middle, so we'll do that. Okay, and while we're at it... Oh, we're having a random little cut there. Hello, there we go. Thank you. Um... We can do some palm tree stuff down here. We do like a bit of palmage. Six. Six. There we go. Um, and some benches, maybe. Uh, there we go. I mean, I know we can move these around, but to be honest with you, they would be pretty straight on, wouldn't they? Because they would. They would, they would, uh, do we want a bit, I want a nice bin, where's there a nicer bin, where's that nicer one, there it is, you, whoops, you, there we go, uh, yeah, sorry, they would, uh, they would sit better together next to the path, wouldn't they, there we go, look at that, what a set, okay, great, uh, the restaurant is a highly, highly sociable place, so we need to get working on the restaurant, we, why are we not getting two star movies, let's, uh, see, we can now take this movie and drop it into here, can't we? Okay, so let's drop it into here and see if we can make a better movie out of it. So our lead is going to be a sci-fi guy, which I believe is this chap. Yeah, there we go. I can never remember who people are. Oh, wow, what an outfit. Uh, you're a supporting guy. There we go, looking good. So I, I'm okay with that outfit, and I'm okay with that outfit, but you, I don't know why it insists on making people bald. So, and it's not really a sci-fi outfit, is it that? Let's, uh, let's sort your hair out. Yeah, that's better. Let's have a look at you. Yeah, there you go, I'm talking. That's a hairdo and a half, that is, isn't it? Yeah, it's not a female hairdo, is it? No, I don't think it is. Um, okay, space... Space slave? Oh, my words. Space uniform, space hot pants, the other guy's in. Oh, let's go for the... Let's go with this one then. Let's make it a bit of a like homoerotic type thing. I think that could do well. That could do well. Uh, oh, did that not save? Marvelous. Um, let's go. Put you back in that. Get you that sexy haircut. Where is it? There we go. Perfect. 
Okay, you're looking good, boys. You're looking good. Um, okay. So, ah, here's the problem. Look, we're all sort of on the same set here. But we've got a spaceship. That's pretty impressive. Okay, so spaceship's landing. Then, oh, wow. That's a that's a really good shot. How's he get, how do you get up there that quick? This one is going to be him lying down. Looking around him, yeah, not impressed. Okay, and he's just lying. And then it's him. It's the two of them running. And then he finishes off hiding. I think we need we need an extra here. We need an extra in this movie, being some sort of monster there. So let's go back supporting. Um. Oh, we can just we can just drop an extra in, can't we? Okay, so on this scene we can just drop an extra in. Yeah, to there. That's what we want. So we want you there, dressed as a monster. Perfect. He's already done it for us. Um. All right, and maybe maybe another one. Maybe get a few extras on this. Oh, I don't need wearing that though. Um, gorilla. Do we have a monster costume? Oh, just a robot. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, okay, we can have attack of the robots. There we go. Although, I don't really know what you're doing, but yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. So all I want to do is change a couple of the shots up. Uh, into a different set because we've used this battlefield thing a bit now. So this one, I mean, this is going to be really random, but this one where he's just lying, oh, they all need to be in this set, don't they, really? Unless we really change it. Group chase, let's put some of these into the sci fi, sci -fi uh, corridor. No, I just want to change the set to enter. Okay, so so okay, I'm gonna I want to get rid of this scene. Is that the one where he's just lying dead? Yeah, okay. Okay, so in this scene, um I want it to be um carry. Enter carry, there we go. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, but the other way round. Because who who is the guy who fell on the floor? Yeah, it's him. So he needs to be carrying the other guy. All right. So let's uh, pause it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so you're going to carry him in. And then this is going to go to Sci-Fi Corridor, and it needs to be um, ain't over yet. What's that one? Oh no, we don't know. It's not. A, it's not an attack. I thought it was like bringing him back to life or something. Um, Ambush from above. Need to be. You're going to be there. Yeah, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, there we go. So, what's that look like? Um,
Oh, this is intense. Sorry, I realised I just said anything for like 30 seconds. This is intense. Come on, then. Well, where, where's the actual guy? Come on, then. Did he jump, did he jump down, does he? I don't get that shot at all. Um, what about an alien chase? Let's look at that one. I mean, yeah, but you should be. That should be you. Okay, there we go. And then finally, we're going to have another one in the corridor. And it's going to be a fight between. You and you, but you, I don't know why you dress like that. You need to be the alien. Where's the alien costume gone? Have I used the wrong person? Sorry, is it meant to be you? What? I don't understand what's going on in this thing. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in a video game. Right, you are going to be supporting, right? And you are going to look like an alien. So let I want to. Why can't I put you in the alien costume? I can put you in gorilla or robot. Should we make you a robot then? Ah, uh -huh. hasn't saved. Okay, that's my fault though because I clicked the wrong button. Um, there we go, robot. Okay. Right, as a robot. Okay, good. So in this one, you now need to be you. And this is you bringing them in. Right, so he brings him in, puts him down somewhere, and then gets up by him. But then he comes in, this guy comes in, saves the day. But he's not doing very well. Let's see if we can see if we can edit this one with sliders. Let's have a look. Fight. Oh Christ! Um, aggressive. <laughs> but they need to be the other way around. So you need to be the. You need to be the guy. Who's punching? No, you need to be the guy who's punching the robot, and then the robot's going to die. Corridor. Um, let's see if we can search for die, death, cigarette death. What? Don't. Person dies. There we go. Let's try person dies. What does that look like? Yeah, well, we'll use that, but maybe can we tone the death down a little bit? Okay. Um, but it's not you, guys. It's the ro. It's the monster, the robot. Okay. Good, there we go. So now I think we've got a movie. Guy comes in, they come in down on a spaceship. Do we have a better we have a better backdrop than that, don't we? Um asteroid belt near planets. Yeah, much better. Although let's have a look if there's some other spacey ones. Foreboding spaceship. Uh Nebula, what's that look like? Ooh, Nebula looks good, doesn't it? Uh is that actually a, like a planet? Wasteland? No, that's the one it had. We need we need something more spacey. So we've got um let's have a go right at to the top. Arid Valley. No, that's a bit more cowboy, isn't it? Asteroid belt near planet. I think it's gonna be that one, you know. Um 
Foreboding spaceship. Oh, that looks pretty cool as well. Although, grey planet near asteroid belt. Yeah, I know. I like that. I like that first one. Asteroid belt near planet. Yeah, and then we'll do the same with this one. Asteroid belt near planet. And here. Um, asteroid belt near planet. Okay, so what we can do with this one is let's make that the robot, right? So it looks like the robot has set it off. Let's have a look. How's that? Can we? I don't think we can really see him. Okay, so he's yeah, he gets battered, and then he comes and finds him. Yeah, and then rings him onto the ship. Okay. But then, once he's on the ship, the robot finds him again. But then this guy's better. So he comes in and beats up the robot. And the robot dies. That looks good to me. I think we made a good movie there. We've knocked it up to two stars. Awesome. Uh, oh, the only thing... I don't want to call it Huntress of Soul. Let's call it... Um, uh, it's a female robot, because you can hear at the end go... Uh, uh, uh. So let's call it... Um, uh, killer... L uh, I was going to say... Killer... Killer Fembots... From Mars. Because everything was from Mars back in the 40s, wasn't it? Okay, Killer Fanbots from Mars. There we go. Bang. Done. Perfect. Now, oh, now, that was the other thing is. Let me just drop it into here and see. Because in the last one, I forgot to turn off the rolls that we weren't using. So, we need to might do that. Oh, no, it's just got one extra. So, yeah, you're our extra. Okay, that's fine. Because in the last movie, I didn't turn off the, uh, the rolls, apparently. And it meant that... Um, uh, it meant that um, like extra people turned up. Why can't we cast this? Director needed. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, you're a sci-fi director. Yeah. So we can't rename them. As if you could rename them and just call them sci-fi director. Okay. While that's getting sorted, we've got a guy here without a trailer. Um, his image is pretty weak. So let's try and make you a little bit better before you do that. Because. Um, yeah. We need you in some 30s clothing. Uh, there we go. 30s waistcoat. Have we got another 30s gangster suit? Isn't that what you're in? Oh no, sorry. That's what you're in. Oh, that hair, man. Why did why did it consist on making people got? Let's give him the hair that we've given him. That, that that's good. I mean, it's a bit more 80s, but I'm okay with it. There you go. Increase his image now, that's good. Okay, you can get back to work now. I think you go there, don't you? Yeah, Killer Fanbots from Mars is now being there. Shot, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so we've got a trailer that needs doing. And also, we're going to change all the trailers out, actually, because we've got rickety ones now, but we can change them to cheap, I think. Uh, yeah, trailer cheap, look. And I think it just gives you a slight increase... In uh, in how they get on. Emily Dredge, is that you? Okay, so you're in this movie. Oh no, we've used an extra in this movie. You're the comedy girl, aren't you? So Emily Dredge's one can go. Janitor, got a builder somewhere? Yeah, thank you. All. So Emily Dredge's one can go. Uh, Gaz Thomas and Mark Webley are the other ones that can go. Because they're not going to get annoyed while they're on filming. That's the main thing we're doing. Mark Webley, there we go. Okay. And then we can replace all those with cheap trailers. Come on. There's got to be a spot for you somewhere. Okay, okay. We can make it work. Okay. Again, we can make it work. And and whoop, there, okay. 
So there's cheap. And the other two are the two guys who are currently filming. So we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be putting them onto anything. Uh, Emery Dredge. Let's give everyone a bit of a pay cut because apparently they're sulking about their pay cut, which I'm not happy about. So let's just give everyone a bit of a pay increase, and then they should stop sulking about that. Still sulking about his pay cut. Well, screw you. Uh, keep close on your eyes on the stars. Salaries do this balance. If you pay your stars too much, you'll risk falling into debt. Oh my god, are we falling into debt? Doesn't matter, because Killer Fembots from Mars is ready to shoot. Boom! Off you go then, folks. Go and get yourself a good uh, moving. Uh, shack exterior set. Oh, I've got a feeling that's a big one, but we'll put it down. So I like to uh, make sure I've got one of all of my sets. Shack exterior. Ah, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all, actually, but it's pretty big. Um, we've got sci-fi down there. I think there's still a sci-fi set to turn up, to be honest. So we're going to have to probably try and squeeze you in around the back here. That'll do. Uh-oh, we are we're kind of skint. We need uh, we need. Fembots from Mars to make money. Um, we seriously do. Let's get this path here. Down to it. There we go. Okay. They're getting on set to record Fembots from Mars. That's good. Alright, so let's... Um, I'm going to do a little bit of grass here, but not loads, because, you know, we're, we're, we haven't really got the cash for it. Um, I'm really hoping we're kind of we're kind of resting the whole situation now on Killer Fembots from Mars. It kind of it kind of needs to do pretty good, you know. Uh, otherwise, we're doing okay. We still need to build the restaurant, I think. What are you telling me? Remember to look at studio reviews. Let's have a look at studio reviews then. Uh, company hasn't won any awards. No, we haven't. Uh, worst one was Baggage Boy. When you put that, it was like 30 years ago now, wasn't it? Um, Mark Carruthers is the bottom of the pile. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's not much we can do about any of those. Uh, we're always going to have a rubbish re guy, aren't we? Who's Mark Crothers? Is that you? Yeah. We need to give you a trailer and stuff. We won't do it yet because I don't want to. I don't want to mess up these two guys who are filming. You see, because if we give all everyone else good trailers, they're going to be annoyed, you know. So we won't do that just yet. Let's just link up these a little. Oh, I've put that the wrong way around. Ugh. Alright, well, you can go that way. Okay. That's not ideal, but we'll tidy up in the uh, in the future. Let's just see what we'll do. Put you there a sec. You need to move. You're the one with the stone on the edge, so you need to move. You need to move. Okay, so you go there. Can we do it with shift? Yeah, we can. Okay, so you go there. You go there. Yeah, and like that. Okay. Uh, realistic makeup, dolly rig, and hand colour film. Oh, this is going to be our first colour movie. That's cool. Um, looking forward to seeing what that looks like. Let's finish up our uh, fences here. Uh, paths, even. And we need to stick some stuff down in this one as well, don't we? We haven't got any uh, cars or anything. Oh, we have a new car. Oh, a 1940s motor. Nice. It's not. Oh, it's not actually very nice, but... Um, up, 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 up. Which one was? Oh, shift. There we go. It's not a very nice motor, but it's uh, it's new, and that's what's important. I think you know it's always nice having some classic cars around, but we've got to have some nice forties cars around as well. Plants. Um, let's get some nice palms in. We we love these big old palms, don't we? We really do. Can't get enough of them. Um, and then the other stuff we've got in most of these now is a uh, lounger, um, a 
beach ball. I know it's not much, but they just look cool. We'll put a uh, couple of these down as well. These look quite cool because that looks like the sort of uh, thing you would actually find for relaxing. That's good. Uh, those two are going to have to change, but we will do that in the future. Uh, and Oh, a fountain as well. That seems to be the other thing we have in the mall, which is good. That's under here, isn't it? There we go. Exquisite fountain. It is exquisite. Um, there's all the new fountains. Look, sleek fountain we now have. Uh, oh, look at those. Can we find somewhere for these? These look great. Let's see if we can just put them there. Yeah, I like those. Very movie lot. Um, Hmm, they don't really work there, do they? Never mind. Um, okay, cool. Right, I want uh, a movie out in each episode, so I'm going to pause while uh, while Killer Fembots from Mars gets made, and we'll come back when it's done. Right, that was a bit intense. We've um, started making a loss, mega loss, actually, and I think it's because we're paying our guys too much, so I knocked them all down. Uh, they obviously weren't happy about it. I've got a feeling this isn't going to be a great movie now because everyone on it was in a really pissed off mood while they made it to be honest but we're gonna go ahead and release it anyway it's two stars i think it should still work out okay let's have a look killer fembot from mars creep cards it was two stars these shouldn't be too bad yeah so here's the problem look it's mostly their mood was was pretty off and i think the reviews will say that as well but we're still two stars um technology's cutting edge uh, yeah i think we'll still make some money off of this let's see how it turned out because uh, we now have, I believe, we now have hand-painted, at least, hand-painted colour movies, let's see. Um, a Bog Brush Pictures production. We need this to do well because we are so skint. <laughs> um, Jim Vox, Slick Dressel. There we go. Oh, look at that. What an effect. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. I think this is, uh, I think we're going to do all right here. He's landed down on a... Oh, look at that. What a star. Oh, but no. He gets blown up. Uh-oh. But they, who's she? Oh, God. These extras. They just turn up. But they're both not happy. Luckily, he t it's okay. She seems all right. He walks him in, but gets attacked by a robot. That was a short scene, wasn't it? Luckily. He's back to knock the robot out. Hey, do you know what? For a movie in the movies, it makes sense. I'm I'm going with it. <laughs> um, let's see what the reviews thought. First of all, we got a bit of star rating, crew experience. That's good. A little bit of script writing experience. It cost us 90 grand, that one did. Uh, performance was lame compared to his fellow stars. Yeah, but he's new. Um, okay, overall... Overall, I think this should do well. It's going to number two. That's fine. That'll make us a lot of money. Should get us right back onto uh, onto top form. We need to cheer up our guy here. He's talking about his pay cut. Um, who hasn't got a trailer yet? Does, because we're going to build a trailer. As soon as we've got the money, we're going to put this last cheap trailer in. So money's coming in. I'm not too sure who it is, but there's one person who doesn't have a trailer. There we go. We're back into profit. There we go. Money's rolling in now from Killer Fembots from Mars. That's what we want to see. We we're hoping this this makes about three, four hundred grand, something like that. That would be good. Uh, nearly there to get this last trailer off. Just we need to spend a bit of time working on getting our stars back into a happy, uh, happy state of mind. Most of them are middling now, so I'm okay with it. And if this movie continues to do well, you know, we'll look at giving them a pay rise. Um, but you know, really, they've got to earn it. You know. There we go. Put you in there. So I'm not too sure who doesn't have a trailer. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, let's have a look. Boredom. You've just finished work, haven't you? Going to trailer. Going to trailer. Going for a bite to eat. It might be you. Let's have a look. Now you're quite happy with your trailer. You're not happy. It must be you then. Let's have a look. Oh, it'll tell us about it. Tim Rants. Mark. Tim, Max, Emily, Gaz, and Mark. So Tim, Max, Emily, Tim, Steve. Yeah, Stevie, that's the one. So as soon as this gets built, here we go. Builders are on it. 
Come on, come on. There we go. You get that. There we go. That should probably help you out. So you've all got decent trailers now, or as as decent as they can be, I guess. Um, we'll do a little bit of work on there. It's a bit of a mess, but I'll do that off camera. Um, okay, movie's in. It's dropped down to number three. That's fine. It's already making us money. All together now. He's ready for casting, but we're not going to do it just yet. We're going to get them working on a new movie. Comedy movie. There we go. Awesome, and we'll start a comedy movie in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We had a bit of a ropey bit there, but it looks like we're hopefully back on track to start moving up as we head into the 40s. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give us a like. It really does help out the channel, and if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them uh, down in the comments. And in fancy chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.